sign into YouTube, go to youtube.com, sign in with your Google account, watch your RMIT Google account. When you've done that, you'll see an icon at the top of your phone. From that account, you can create up to 50 YouTube channels. YouTube channels you could be using for multiple businesses that you manage, community groups, campaigns, brands, or just different identities. So to create a separate channel, you click the icon and then click the cog wheel from YouTube settings. Another way of getting there is youtube.com slash account. If you're signed in YouTube, this is the page you'll see. In the account settings down the left, there are a range of different areas that you can manage your account settings. Overview, connected accounts, privacy, <coughs> notifications, playback, connected TV. In the overview setting of account settings, down the bottom under additional features is see all my channels or create a new channel. Click that. Now what you're seeing on the screen are all the different channels that my personal YouTube account managers. My personal account is Lee Level, and those pages are, all those channels are channels that I help manage. Some of them are community groups, some of them are small businesses, and some of them are projects within here, RMIT. So if you want to create your channel, you just click create a new channel. You give your channel a name. Test. In this case, give it a category. I'm going to go other and agree to the terms and conditions. But note this sentence here, your channel, your new channel comes with a Google Plus page. A Google Plus page is a ready-made website with some social functionality in the Google Plus service. Uh, the page you might consider as a website where the YouTube account or the YouTube channel is that site's video page. If you're familiar with Facebook, it's much the same as Facebook pages. So when we finish that, give it a few seconds, our YouTube, our new YouTube channel will be created. And there it is, waiting for us to add channel art, icons, and to start either uploading videos or creating playlists of videos that are on uh, YouTube. Now, the reason I pointed out that Google Plus page is it's quite beneficial to think about using that along with your channel. You could, you could ignore it completely and just focus here on your YouTube channel and build it up. But let's take a look at that Google Plus page that's been created. To do that, I've clicked the icon up there for my new YouTube channel, dropped it down, then I'm just gonna click the larger version of that icon. There are probably other ways to get to it, but this is a quick way. I'm going to go no thanks on the new Google Plus. It's not a very good uh, design at the moment, but hopefully it will improve. Okay, here's what the template looks like. You can change the banner art. You can change the icon. It has this ready-made um, menu, which is about, which is a summary of about your, your channel or your Google Plus page. Your posts, which are essentially blog posts, simple blog posts or updates. Your collections, which you could think about as uh, pages in your Google Plus page, collections of other people's and your own posts and photos. And then there is your photo galleries and your videos, which is drawing your videos from YouTube and displaying them in here. And then customer reviews or reviews generally. So that could be reviews of your students if you set this up as a course uh, page. Okay. So that's um, your Google Plus page. From this page, you can create Google Plus communities, circles, and use it much the same as an individual would use Google Plus. Uh, also, you can go to the settings for this page by hovering over the left-hand drop-down menu and click settings. And among those settings is managers. And in managers, you can add, I think it's up to 50 managers. And one of those managers could be your RMIT account. 
Now your RMIT account will be able to come into this Google Plus page and adjust the settings, make new posts, etc. but it won't be able to come into the YouTube channel. To come into the YouTube channel, you'll have to come in as your personal or separate Google account and then change over to the YouTube channel. Now, don't worry. When you create YouTube channels, there's no way for the audiences of those channels to see all the other channels. So to them, it's just another channel. They won't be able to find their way to your personal channel or to your other businesses and your other interests. Same with the Google Plus page. Okay, we'll go back to that Google Plus page. Go back to the YouTube channel. There it is waiting for us to dress it up. But let's say like me, you've created a test or you've made a mistake. Now we want to delete the channel. Drop down the, uh, click the channels icon, then click again to the YouTube settings. And just next to the larger version of the channel icon is advanced, click that. Scroll to the bottom and delete the channel. Now you want to permanently delete my content or you might want to just hide the content. But permanently deleting the content, you just got to check those boxes so that YouTube knows you, sh you know what you're doing here. Uh, just confirm it for YouTube and delete the content. Okay, that's deleted the YouTube channel, but it hasn't deleted the Google Plus page. Click that link to do that. It wants me to sign in. And just go, yes, I acknowledge these and delete the account. Okay, that's all gone now. So that's how to create, quite simply, a separate YouTube channel from your personal or outside Google account, YouTube account. Like I said, you can create up to 50 of those channels for all different reasons, and they are distinctly separate. It's just an easy way to manage multiple channels through YouTube on one account. I hope you found that useful.